I've had this 3.6 inch TFT four wire resistive touchscreen for over a year, but I've never had time to really look into it, partly because I know a lot of people have had hassles getting it up and running. It's not straightforward and there's so many variations and driver chips. I got mine on eBay and it's from mcufriend.com. TFT LCD for Arduino Uno, which is what I'm using. It has an onboard SD card and communication pins here. Then it looks like an 8-bit parallel LCD bus and some LCD control and reset pins and power ground. How hard can it be to make this work with this, especially when there's so many drivers out there? The first thing that confused me is, which way do I plug it in? These headers do look very Uno layout-ish, but they're not exact. So it just ends up, you line it up so the back pins here on the module go to the back pins here on the Arduino. And it looks like there's double-sided foam keeping the screen up off the PCB, so I try not to push on the screen and just grab the board edge to give it pressure. So now the screen is on the Uno. I can still access, maybe a little awkwardly, the reset button. And the memory card slot is right here, nicely located between the power jack and the USB jack. So it's ready to get up and running with a quick demo. The way the touchscreen part of the display works, it's a four-wire resistive, and I found this description document showing that inside the screen there's a resistive coating with a top film, and the same thing for a bottom film, and it's separated by spacers, so when you touch the screen, it will make the top resistive layer touch the bottom and make contact. So for the top layer, you have an electrode on the left and the right, for the bottom layer, you have an electrode on the bottom and top, so that's the four wires. So in order to detect X or Y positions, let's just look at X, you would take the top layer and give it a power source and ground and, and basically form a resistor across that resistive layer. And then when you press down, you've got a voltage divider where you have a positive supply with a resistance to the contact point, because it's a resistive coating, and then there's more resistance down to the ground side, and then you have one terminal that you're reading on with the bottom layer, the other one you ignore. So there's going to be resistance as well from the contact point over to the terminal on that bottom resistive coating, but that doesn't form any sort of divider, it's just part of a high impedance input that you're just measuring the voltage on the other end of the resistor for it. So down here, as an example, you give 5 volts and ground, so you've got this variable resistor where you change the position of the wiper based on where along the X you are located. And then you're reading it as a terminal on a wiper from the Y layer on the bottom, and it's just a series resistor. It doesn't really impact anything. You're just reading in, and you can read the resistance based on an analog reading and scale it to the min-max based on what you know about the resistance. For the X, it's about 300 ohms end-to-end, -end. so based on reading this as an analog voltage in, you're reading a certain percentage of that 300 ohm resistance as a voltage, and you can determine where you are. You do the same thing in the other direction. You power the two ends of the Y plate, and you use the X plate as a terminal to read from. And again, you can figure out with a voltage divider, read the analog input, figure out how far along this direction you are. So here's my Arduino environment, and I have gone through a whole lot of hassle trying to get this thing started without knowing anything about it. So I spent a lot of time going around the internet, locating example code and library files, and I was on GitHub, and I was in forums seeing people have similar problems to me. Only later I realized, okay, out of the several libraries for touchscreens, since I do have an MCU Friend module, I should be using an MCU Friend library just to get started, and instead of running around the internet, I should use the Arduino IDE Library Manager. So if I go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries, I can search for MCU Friend, and this is the one. 
MCU friend underscore KBV. So after this, I didn't realize I'm going to need other libraries. I started over, I wiped everything out, I installed this, and then as it turns out, when you try to run something, it'll tell you you're missing a couple of Adafruit things. So Adafruit GFX and Adafruit touchscreen are needed. So there's the Adafruit GFX library and Adafruit touchscreen. With those installed, I can then go to the file, examples, and here, for examples from custom libraries, MCU Friend has a bunch of samples, but we are going to have to configure, now that I know, those X and Y resistive pins. So first we want to diagnose touch pins, and that reports out a configuration it detects into the serial monitor. So I've got diagnose touch pins open, my serial monitor is on, and this is just a simple program, and it will print something out here once it does a diagnostic. So let's see. So it did its thing. The screen just stays blank. It's not really supposed to show anything down there, I don't think. But it did its diagnostic, and it's telling me that the X and Y plus and minus pins are X minus is analog 1, X plus is digital 7, Y positive is A2, Y minus is D6. So I need to write that down and remember it when I'm trying to run any of these other programs or it's not going to know what's going on. So now I want to try another example from MCU Friend Library. Button Simple. So right here, XP and XM, YP and YM, these are defaulting to some certain way, but now I know that for me, XP is 7, XM is A1, YP is A2, and YM is 6. So now it shouldn't get confused about where a touch is occurring. This other constant here, touch screen left and right and top and bottom, there's another diagnostic you can run and it will figure out what are your extreme limits on your particular screen and you can update these values, but these are pretty close to what I was getting, so I just leave these in. And now the program should be ready to run, so I'm just going to upload it. So here's the program, and so it's got this cyan box, and then a red button called on and off. So depending what you touch, it'll change the color of the box to show you what you've done. So on makes it magenta, off makes it cyan. So that's a good way to test, and you press anywhere else and nothing happens. Well, that's a nice and easy test, but when I was first starting this with various drivers from the internet, nothing was happening when I was pushing this, and I'd have to press maybe down here and over here instead of up where it is, and it, that wasn't even consistent. Sometimes it would be over here. I don't know if it's because I was moving drivers around. I can't remember now. The whole thing just wasn't working smoothly. So that's why right now I know I just need to go and get those X and Y plus minus values and start out. But notice, okay, we have a white background. Well, it's not right. If we go over and look at the code, once we go through everything, in our setup routine, first thing we do really on the screen is fill screen black. Mine's white. And then here, fill a rectangle, that's the button, that's above the buttons to show you what you've pressed. It starts out red. Well, my off is cyan, googling around what's going on and all of that. Well, some people, and how do you know if you're one of those people? You need to invert your screen. So somewhere here where we are initializing the TFT display, you have to add invert display, and you can have one or true, it just has to be inverting. So now I will recompile and upload this and see did it fix it. Program says fill screen black. We have a black screen. Program says fill a rectangle red. We've got a red rectangle. Well all right. It wasn't this easy yesterday because I had to know that these things were going on. It's only when I started reading the code I realized wait a minute what does it mean green? I don't have green. Touch Shield New. It's basically a two-part diagnostic and then a paint program. So again, I gotta update these X and Y pins, and I know I have to invert my display. 
So TFT begin, I will put it after there. So now let's run this. First it has this diagnostic program. You can click exit in the middle to get out of this and move on to the paint program. But it says touch the screen for location. So here's where things get weird. I touch arbitrarily, say halfway up, but extremely to the left. So X should be low because I'm on the left and Y should be about halfway of its range. So I clicked halfway up, but it says X is like 833. That sounds maximum, not minimum. And Y is 555. Ooh, nice number. Because it's about 900 and something total and that's halfway up. But you know what? It works. I can choose my colors in this paint program. Everything's running. It's the same code. It's got the same calibrations, the same X and Y coordinate system based on the resistive touch screen. I tried looking through the code. I guess I didn't look too deep in because I'd have to go way down into the library itself, not just the application. It knows where I am. Why does it report that it's backwards on the X? I don't know. Maybe I just have to ignore that and move on. So if I write a program. I'm just going to have to try to follow this code as an example of how it knows where it is and work with it and just maybe figure it out later or just never figure it out and move on. Either way, I got it up and running. Figuring out the fine details can be done later. Let's see what I can come up with to build around this.